We are the Business Transforming Development Hackathon team representing KNUST. According to WHO, about 650 million people are disabled worldwide. In Ghana, about 7,000 accidents are recorded annually, most of which leads to amputations. People suffering from diabetes also suffer a high risk of being amputated in their life. Because prosthetics are expensive, people from low-income communities and countries may not be able to afford it. So, our project promotes the recycling of plastic and other waste materials to provide affordable and reliable prosthetics to disabled people in low-income communities. The materials for our project include sessile fiber, POP, fine sawdust, bamboo, silicon gel, medical plastic waste, and foam. To begin the whole fabrication process, we had to do the design of the model, test it very well to make sure everything works fine. I took the length of my foot, which was 26 centimeters, the height was 11, and the ankle was 6 centimeters, and the base was 10 centimeters. I came to my pylon cushion, or the shaft, the length was 31 centimeters, the diameter of the upper shaft being 12 centimeters, the mid 10 centimeters, and the lower shaft being 8 centimeters. The leg socket, which I also took measurement with a length of 17 centimeters, the diameter of 12 centimeters. I had to move straight to my Fusion 360 design and animate, make sure all the ball joint sockets are really working well for easy movement. And after everything works fine, I gave it to the fabrication team to continue the process. This is how our product is being fabricated. A live mode was formed using a scissor fiber and a POP. The cast was also formed using a sawdust and a silicone as a binder. A bamboo was also used as a substitute for the bone and then the outer layer is being covered with a poron foam functioning as the muscles. So this is how we assemble our lower limb locally made prosthetic. Car plastics were recycled to obtain this casing. Alternatively, if you're not comfortable using this, this will help you to move around at any point in time. Most people can work with this one at any point in time, but this is functioning as a covering for the limb. This is our impact testing machine, which was used to test the recycled plastic, that is HDPE. As demonstrated, a material was placed in the machine and then the experiment was conducted. A material had a size of 10 by 10 millimeters. And after conducting the experiment, you obtained a value of 4.2 joules, which was used to calculate for the impact resistance of our material. By dividing our impact energy by the cross-sectional area of, uh, of our material, we were able to obtain a value of 412,020 joules per meter square as, our imp as the impact strength. We are supposed to carry out script and fatigue tests, but due to unavailability of machines, that was skipped. Imported transtable prosthetic cost $6,000 in Ghana. From our project, we found out that cost could be decreased to $400, giving us a net return of 
$5,600. From theory of change, this could create jobs and as foreign exchange and also decrease environmental pollution by plastics. Amputees shouldn't worry anymore because our product is in a unique way to solve their problem.